Hey guys, Uncle Pip here, and welcome to the March 2023 farm vlog video. We got a lot going on this month because it's now springtime, and well, you'll see all the updates as we go along. Please join me. Today I picked up the chicks. Today I picked up uh, 25 Cornish Cross broiler chicks, and I wasn't expecting to get them today. I was actually planning on making this video today as me getting ready for the chicks and then I was planning on picking up the chicks tomorrow. Um, but I went into one of the big box stores today and I found them on sale, only a dollar each. So you can't beat that. I was planning on spending double that tomorrow. So why not get it for half off today? So that's why everything's kind of rushed. You're going to be seeing on the screen now, or you might be seeing it, uh, me getting everything ready. That happened after I got the chicks. So, there's that. Um, for the brooder system, I have a giant black uh, wash, or water trough. Yeah, giant black water trough. I don't remember how many gallons, but... Um, I threw some of the small shavings in there, some small wood shavings in it, and that's what I'm using for a bedding. I already had the waterer and the feeders because of the chickens that I had in 2019 and 2020. Um, but I did buy a heat lamp today, and right now I'm trying to build the lid that goes over top of it. I'm just putting it together using some chicken wire and some lumber I just got at Lowe's and a reason I'm doing this part is because the brooder is in the basement of my house and I have a cat and the litter box for the cat is next to the brooder so I know the cat's gonna jump in there and try to play with the chickens but I don't think the chickens wanna play with the cat so I just need to make something to alleviate that problem so that's what I'm doing now. Um, I also bought some lumber that's treated, and that's going to get drilled into the uh, truck cap. And the truck cap is going to ultimately have two pieces of lumber coming out, and I'm going to make like a little hitch for it. I'm going to back. All right, so here you can actually see what I'm working on. I'm going to drill this piece into this corner, cut this board. So I have equal lengths of these coming out, and then I'm going to build a little hitch in the middle. So uh, let's get to it. Back the John Deere 2010 up to it. I'm going to lower the, the hitch. I'll pick up the what I make, hook it all together, and I'm going to just drag it across. You'll see what I'm doing when I do it. Uh, it I, it's simple, makes sense, but it's something I've been putting off for a long time. If you've been following the channel, you know that I was playing with some medical stuff and uh, it had a child born. So, you know, I took a, a few weeks off and now is not the time to be taking any time off. So now I just got to work double time to catch up. Um, those two things are happening. Now, another big housekeeping thing I want to discuss real quick. I am working on a new secret project. Ooh, new secret. Um, I'm making a new video and I'm not going to disclose what's going to be in the next video until it's completed because I want it to be from start to finish an entire video. So I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to work out nice. Um, but as part of that project, I did buy some new tools and hopefully I get to play with those new tools relatively soon. I was hoping to make this video about me opening the new tools but last minute ended up with the chickens so it's kind of important that I get this brooder box lid made today because currently I got the cat locked out of the basement but again his litter box is there so I don't have a lot of time so that's why this is kind of thrown together I'm also gonna throw you some footage of the chickens in there for you I think you'll enjoy that um, so yeah, those are all the projects I got on the fly. 
make the lid for the chicken brooder box and add stuff to the truck cap and then uh, working on my secret project so there's that for you uh, let's just do jump into this and um, please watch me fail or not I don't know we'll see measure twice cut once that's good advice to live by So this part's done. You can see how I did it. Uh, I'm thinking for the short term, I'll attach some type of rope or something in between there with those two holes, and I can just back the truck up or the tractor up and pick it up, and go about my business. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this is a little smaller than I wanted. I was thinking to have them a little bit longer, but I was also trying to go as cheap as possible, so. Let's go back home and build the top part of that brooder box. I have no idea what I'm doing. As always, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.